Hey, sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. So, I, I kind of want to talk about, um, you know, there's a lot of people wondering why that Fox hasn't made many videos lately. Um, that's because they were lashed out by um, a very well-known YouTuber who's a trans woman of color named Cat Black. And both of these YouTubers are actually my favorite YouTubers in the LGBT community. You know, and um, Brian and Jay Lafew from Depth Fox did a call, basically did a call out video on Cat Black. You know, I can see where they're coming from, but also I can see why Cat Black was angry with them. You know, Brian and Jay are supporters of the trans community. And I do feel like both Cat Black and um, Depth Fox have overreacted a little bit on their channels when it came to this whole feud with each other. You know, I do disagree with Jay a lot, um, basically saying that you can compare transracial with uh, transgender. And Brian does not agree with that. You know, I can see why Cat Black lashed out, but she didn't need to also lash out at Brian because <laughs> Brian pretty much when it comes to political uh, stuff, absolutely does disagree with his husband on some things like the whole transracial and transgender are very similar you know and honestly for her to say that two cisgendered men should not be talking about transgender issues that's kind of draws the line because here's the thing I'm a trans man myself, okay? And I know many cisgender people who are allies of the trans community and stick up for trans rights. It doesn't matter their sexual orientation or their race. Now I can see her being angry with Jay basically saying that uh, Rachel Dolezal, that her being transracial is valid. When honestly, Jay was absolutely incorrect on that. But she didn't also need to put the blame on Brian. Because Brian did nothing wrong. You know, Brian didn't really say anything. Um that would trigger many people. Jay did, okay? And <clears throat> Cat Black is absolutely correct when it comes to, you know, transgender and transracial uh, issues. You cannot compare the two together. Like, it doesn't matter uh, what race you are, um, or your sexuality. You cannot compare the two. And those of us who are in the transgender community all say the same thing. So, am I going to attack Depp Fox? No. Am I going to attack Cat Black? No. But, do I feel both of them kind of overreacted a little bit? Maybe slightly a bit. <clears throat> slightly overreacted. Now I'm I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of attacks by Cat Black and Dep Fox for saying this, or a lot of people for saying this, but both of them kind of did overreact a little bit. Mostly Jay from Dep Fox. 
because Jay does have the tendency to overreact to things uh, when it comes to politics. While Brian is just sitting there very calmly and being very cool and like sometimes you can see the facial reactions on him like basically he wants to tell his husband to calm down. <laughs> Um, Cat Black, uh, normally I haven't seen her videos where I feel like she overreacts, but when I heard Death Fox video, saw Death Fox video about YouTube Dilemma, and then when I saw Cat's video on her uh, vlog, and it was about gay family values. You know, I kind of feel like the people who, who the people that are most likely having this feud is Jay and Cat. You know, they need to. They both need to leave Brian out of this because. Brian, Brian didn't say anything, really, about, you know, trans people. Actually, if you look at the previous videos, he's very supportive of trans people. And he talks about having trans friends, and he did an interview, kind of like a question and answer video, I forget how many years ago, with his friend who is transgender. And... You know, their son, uh, Daniel, one of his classmates is a trans guy. You know, so I kind of see where Kat is coming from. But at the same time, I feel she overreacted just eh, maybe that much. Slightly overreacted. But I can also see where Jay is coming from. But again, I also feel he... Slightly overreacted, you know? And I've seen a lot of videos by Deaf Fox. I've been subscribed to them. Um, I've seen their videos since day one. <laughs> um, before I made this YouTube channel. You know, they're great. But don't get Jay started on politics. <laughs> don't ever get him started on politics. Because sometimes he just overreacts and doesn't really look at the facts. And I kind of feel bad for Brian that he has to go through this, um, that he has to go through this dilemma that has to go through this feud that really has nothing to do with him, but Jay is making it sound like it had to do with Brian when really it had to do with him, but yet Kat kind of blamed both of them when really this should be an issue between Jay and Kat because Jay was the one who said to Brian that he disagrees with him about about, you know, that you can't compare transgender to being transracial. And Brian basically, Brian basically said, it may not have been in, in his, his exact words, that you cannot compare the two because they're two completely different things. You know? But Kat kind of overreacted and kind of was like, oh, these two run the channel. So these two cisgender white gay men are um, comparing transracial to transgender when really it was only the one guy and it wasn't both. So Kat and Jay, do us all a favor. Please stop overreacting. Um, watch... Watch, uh, I suggest that Kat watches um, that video again and carefully listen to Brian versus listening to Jay. 
And then I suggest that Jay watches Kat's videos about the about transracial and transgender and how they're different. Because obviously Brian knows what he's talking about, you know. Brian Brian disagrees that they're the same thing. It was Jay who was mostly doing the talking. You know, so I don't hate them. <laughs> I don't hate Depp Fox. I don't hate Cat Black. You know, I'm still going to watch their videos, of course. But I do feel they both kind of overreacted just a tiny bit. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I really don't care. But as a trans guy myself, you know, there are a lot of things I agree with Cat on and there are a lot of things I agree with Brian and Jay on. But this topic, when it came to this beef between Cat and Depp Fox, this I do not agree with. You know, I do not agree that two cisgender gay men who are white should not be talking about trans issues. Because here's simply why. They were talking about... Um, they were talking about, like, with their son, Daniel. You know, they asked if he had any friends who are trans, and he said yes. And he talked about one of his classmates. And then... Um... They said the same thing, you know, with with uh, Brian's friend, one of Brian's friends who is a trans man. Uh, this was how many years ago? I forget. I think this was back in 2008 or 2009. Back in 2008 or 2009, they talked about this. And, you know, Kat was kind of saying that they shouldn't be talking about trans issues when really they've been talking about people who um, are in the trans community since the beginning of their channel, pretty much. But also, I disagree with Jay trying to compare, you know, transracial to being transgender. I absolutely do disagree with Jay on that. Now, I do feel... Brian should speak up a little bit more when he disagrees with his husband. You know, I feel like Brian needs to step in and speak for once in his videos when, you know, he hears his husband say something wrong. You know, I absolutely do... Agree, Brian needs to step up a little bit more instead of having Jay do all the talking. Um, I'm not saying that Brian is a coward. I'm saying Brian needs to step in a little bit more because I can tell he's a little, seems a little camera shy. And that's cool because I can be sometimes camera shy too, but, you know, especially with other people. But I think... Kat and Jay need to settle this. This needs to be really between Kat and Jay rather than 